Last Friday, Donald Trump was directly implicated in felony activity when Michael Cohen alleged that he made the hush money payment to Stormy Daniels on behalf of Donald Trump to aid the Donald Trump campaign. On Wednesday of this week, the president was implicated in yet another felony. That felony happens to be the hush money payment to Playboy Playmate Karen McDougal, which was also made before the 2016 election in an attempt to not let that story leak out and affect the campaign of Donald Trump. And we know that because of court filings that took place on Wednesday in the Southern District of New York. Here's the story. Uh, American Media Incorporated, which is the parent company of National Enquirer run by David Pecker, a good friend of Donald Trump, they admitted in those filings that they paid Karen McDougal the hush money payment, 150,000 um, to keep her quiet so that she didn't come forward with her story and derail Donald Trump's campaign for president. They admitted that the payment was directly made so that it would influence the 2016 election by not having this story released. That is without question, by definition, an in-kind campaign contribution. So that looks bad for the American media uh, uh, company, right? Well, actually it doesn't. Cause see, they've been given immunity because of their cooperation with the Southern District of New York, because they're giving a lot of valuable information, including information about this payment, which they also say, and this is the part that's bad for Trump, they made in coordination with the Trump campaign. That directly ties in Donald Trump. Here's why. As I mentioned, David Packer, the guy that runs this company, is a good personal friend of Donald Trump. He knows Donald Trump personally. There is no way that these two men did not discuss this before it took place. And now we have the president directly implicated in his second felony that occurred before the election, but that's the second one in seven days. And let's keep in mind something uh, a lot more important here. This has nothing to do with anything that Mueller's investigating. That's what's so awesome about this. These two violations here, these campaign finance violation felonies by the president would ordinarily be enough to derail somebody's presidential campaign and get them uh, impeached. Unfortunately, we have too many Republicans right now in the Senate who keep telling us that eh, I don't care if the president broke the law. I mean, it's literally what Orrin Hatch said a few days ago. I don't care. I don't care. He's good for Republican policies. Rand Paul tried to make excuses for it. Uh, Kevin McCarthy in the House of Representatives made excuses for it. He said, oh, if campaign finance violations are against the law, then half my caucus would be gone. Good. If people are breaking the law, they should face the consequences, right? I mean, aren't you the party of law and order? Aren't you the, the guys who say we're super patriots and we love this country? And part of loving the country is respecting the laws. And yet here you are dismissing a president who in the past week has now been implicated in two different felonies for doing the same thing, but to different women. I mean, what more is it going to take at this point? Any normal Congress and Senate would have impeached this guy on Monday. I mean, really, that's what would have happened if we would have had a normal Congress and Senate. Instead, we're just going to let the fi uh, felonies uh, pile up. He's got that emoluments clause lawsuit where they've already subpoenaed documents from the Trump organization, getting their financial info that I'm sure is going to uncover some things that Trump doesn't want us to know about. We have all of the uh, women accusing him of improper sexual activity. That is still ongoing. I mean, the Summer Zervos case, that is also a big one that could reveal a lot of unpleasant and potentially illegal things about the president. And then let's certainly not forget about Robert Mueller himself. There are multiple different things right at this second that could take down the presidency of Donald Trump. And the worst part is that according to all the information we already have available, the evidence we have available, this guy could have already been impeached. But again, we have Republicans telling us that they're completely okay with the president breaking the law as long as he keeps supporting the policies they want him to support. 
so much for being the party of law and order, right Republicans? Because your, your guy, the guy representing your party is breaking the law on a near constant basis. And every few days at this point, the American public is getting a clearer picture of just what a horrendous criminal this man truly is. That's going to be hung around your neck for years to come. And I hope that you're prepared to deal with the consequences. One of our sponsors for today's videos is Skillshare.com. Skillshare.com is a website that allows users to learn whatever skill it is they're looking to learn, whether it's to better yourself, to get a better career, or you're looking to just expand your horizons personally, Skillshare.com has the videos and tutorials that you need to do everything from learn how to be a better cook, learn a second or even third language, or learn video editing and Photoshop skills and everything in between. Skillshare.com has it all. And if you use the custom URL in this video and also in the description to this video, the first 500 people to use that will get two months absolutely free. That's two months to go through the entire Skillshare.com catalog and learn whatever skill it is you've been wanting to learn. So don't put it off any longer. If there's something you want to learn how to do, again, maybe it's for a career change, maybe it's for a better position, or maybe just something you really want to know, check out Skillshare.com using the custom URL below and the first 500 will get two months absolutely free.